Hi, in this video we're going to look at the latest post on Spice Up Your Blog, which is the jQuery Lightbox um, effect for your images on Blogger. And this is quite a cool effect, which instead of people clicking on your image and just seeing it on a blank page, a URL page, they will see it in a pop up where you can add a description. And if there's more than one image, they can actually scroll through the different images from that pop up. So in the post, which I have the post opened here, we have a click to a couple of demos or links to a couple of demos and one of those demos is right here so what happens is when we have you can see I have five or six images uploaded here and you see when I click on the image we get a pop-up which displays the image down here will be a description which you can add can be any description and then you can close the image like so another uh, feature of this is that because there's uh, five or six images you can actually scroll through the images and when I hover you can see the next button comes up and we can click and see the next image and the next one and you can see the images are different sizes and this just dynamically resizes itself just to contain the image and it's all done with jQuery so it's a nice scroll and smooth effect and um, so once again you get the previous button as well once you've gone through a few and you can just scroll through the different images okay so to add this to your blog we add um, some CSS some script and some jQuery and then you have to add a basically a tag to your images and it's much easier than it might sound. So if we go back to the tutorial, we we'll quickly run through uh, what we have done on the test blog. And we start here by telling you to get to your edit HTML page. So design edit HTML. So let's do that on the test blog. I'm gonna just open the design page from the nav bar. You can do it from your dashboard. And we'll click the edit HTML link. And if you're watching this video elsewhere, the steps will be on Spicebury blog, and there will be a link to that post below the video in the description for the video okay so we got to our edit html page we now want to find this tag here so we'll be copying it as i say here use a con control f for a search bar to help find the code easier because there's so much code so we just click and hold control and press f we get a search bar up the very bottom and we can paste in the skin tag we close the skin tag we're looking for here and we'll jump straight to it and we then tell you to copy and paste all this code before that tag that we just found so there's a nice bit of code in there make sure and get it all and once you have it copied you paste it directly above this tag that we found and as you can see I already have it in here for the test blog so the next part we're going to add the scripts and the jQuery so we'll be looking for this closing head tag and once again we control F paste in the tag we're looking for and we jump straight to it and once again we give you the scripts that we're looking for so you make sure and copy all of that place it above the closing tag we found here as I have already done here okay so what's, once that's done you can save your template and you have the scripts and the CSS in and now it's just a matter of adding a class to the images you want to have this effect and to do that is quite simple and we'll have a quick look at the images that have been added to this test blog by editing the post and seeing the code for those images. Okay, so over here we can see the code that makes up the images on the test blog. It's been added to the post. You'll notice I'm in the edit HTML mode. So we have compose mode, edit HTML mode. We're in edit HTML mode. And at the start of the image, we can see A, and then we can see class equals spice box and title is down here title equals your description will appear here obviously you'll have that as the description you want for your image and we show you exactly how that's done here I have a color coded so a classic spice box title equals your description here and then your image URL will go in or your your hit yeah your image URL will be there and then name it source um, and the other part I do um, because you most of you will be uploading your images directly to blogger is I show you how it will look when you upload an image to blogger so this is when you upload an image to blogger this is generally the code you get and we can see here once again class equals spice box and title equals your description here so let's just so you can see how it's being done let's upload an image and add the tags that are needed so let's upload another image down here I'm just going to do it in the HTML mode Yeah, we'll go pictures, we we'll grab these sample pictures, and we'll upload this koala bear. 
And the great thing about this is that this image, the koala bear image, is actually very, very big. And because of that, Blogger will automatically resize that image. And so when, when it's displayed in a post, it will be, you know, it'll be totally resized, it'll be small enough. Um, and because of we have added this click to open it up with jQuery, somebody can see the full image on a click rather than going to a, a new page and having what, what you actually get, which is a, um, a magnifying glass symbol. Okay, so we've uploaded that image here. And that is exactly how the code will look when it's been uploaded to Blogger. And what we do is we have our div here opening, going across, we leave that alone. It's the next line of code. We have a href equals, and between the a and the href, we simply add class equals spicebox, and then add a title. And we just add the title of well, bear. And just like that, if we click Compose, you can see the koala bear images down here. So we can publish the post. And if I go back here and refresh the page, a koala bear should be added. There it is. And when we click on it, this will be quite a big image. We'll open up, let's drag over our, our screen so you can see it. It'll open up like that. Here's our description, just koala bear. We can close it or we can move on to another image. For some reason I'm not seeing the buttons, but you'll be able to move on through your different images. And so that's how you basically add the scripts, add the CSS, and add the tags to the images. And I think it's quite straightforward, but if you do have any trouble or have any questions, drop a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, that's your jQuery effect, lightbox effect. Thanks for watching the video.